Betty. Take a guess where I'm going. I'm going to work. What else is new? Driving. Driving. Always driving. And today I have on a long sleeve shirt and I'm hot. Why? Because it decided to warm up today. Pardon me. Can't talk right this minute. People are driving crazy. Ah. People driving totally crazy. Goodness. Ah. It's the grace of God that keeps me alive on 95. I'm telling you. It's goodness. Ah. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm wasting your time. <laughs> Um, I'm going to get right to it. Sometimes you just have to believe that all will work out in your favor. You have to put a smile on your face and believe that absolutely everything is going to work in your favor. When you live your life and things are happening that are totally beyond your control. I'm not just speaking to you, I'm speaking to me. Things are beyond your control and they're going out of control. You have to hold on tight. You have to have what is called faith. And you have to believe that absolutely everything is going to come out fine. Someone asked, well, how do you do that? When I see things falling apart. The key is, and I think a lot of times people don't talk about the key. Well, a lot of people do talk about the key, what the secret to that is. You have to push forward. You have to continue to do things to make your circumstances improve. Even when you don't see results. Now I told you I had some challenging times this summer. And if you go back to previous videos from the beginning, I've had some challenges. To be very honest with you, the past couple of years, and I haven't even been on YouTube for a few years, um, where I was doing videos. I mean, I've had an account. But my life is operating in accordance to the challenges in the Economy, the challenges in leadership, a variety of challenges and changes that have gone on in the United States for the past few years. Now, some aren't affected by it at all, but many, many, many others, including myself, are right in there fighting the good fight. If you go back to previous videos, I talk about fighting the good fight. It's a fight out here, and you better have the energy to do it. That's why I keep saying exercise. That's why I keep saying eat right, you know? Take a multivitamin. Uh, leafy green vegetables, fruits, berries, seeds. Thinking positively, like... You have to keep doing all of those things, positive affirmations, so that you don't fall down into a deep hole or abyss. You actually have to look at, like it's sunny outside right now. You have to look at this sunlight and appreciate the sunlight. You see that background? It's sunny. You better look at it because that's your message to you 
that brighter days are here despite what you see in front of you. You have to remain positive. You have to give thanks. And you have to do the work. So you can't just sit and hope. A lot of times people, they pray and they hope. And they pray and they hope. And that's it. So you can't just hope. Because hope, you know, hope only does one thing for you. It enlightens you and gives you the signal that you have other opportunities. That's what hope is. You've heard of keep hope alive. Hope means that the, the potential of a brighter future is possible. But it stops right there. To an extent. You have to do the work. You have to continue, continue to push forward. So for whatever your challenges are, your trials, your tribulations, you can't give up. You have to continue to put forth the energy as if everything was already in place for you. You think I want to drive all of these miles that I drive every day to work? I mean, people keep forgetting that know me. Oh, why, did you, why did it take you so long to get home? They, they, for, they don't, because they're not living it, they don't know, they don't realize one hour and a half to get to work, one hour and a half to get back. That's three hours in my day of being on the expressway. Three hours. Can you imagine what all I could do in those three hours? This thing is annoying. It's painful, it's painstaking, it's agitating. But, sounds like I'm complaining, I'm really not. Well, I do complain from time to time, but I also have to give thanks that I have somewhere to drive to, you know what I mean? So, I'm thankful for that. When I say give thanks, I'm thankful that I have all of these miles to drive to work. I'm thankful that I have the vehicle in good running order to uh, aid in my going to work. I'm thankful for that. Now, do I want change? Do I need change? Yes, I do. So, I continue to push forward to look for other opportunities while giving thanks. Now, the fortunate thing for me is in my line of work, it's about helping people. So that's like an added bonus for me because I'm in a field where it's not just about, uh, you know, making a dollar, a for-profit type of situation where you don't have to care about anyone other than the, uh, you know, that evil dollar that we all need. I actually have to work with and want to work with and desire to work with people and so that's a benefit because that keeps me grounded but um, I just want to get on here and just say to you if you are going through something right now and it's a struggle and you don't see you don't see the change you don't know how the change is going to happen. And nothing has provided you with an indicator that things will change. You have to believe that it will. But you have to put in the work. You can't sit and hope. You can't sit and hope. Hope is a mere tool. That's it. It's a tool. 
you have to get up and you got to get to work to make those changes occur. You got me? So, I guess that's all that I really have to say. I didn't have that's all I have to say because that is what I'm focused on right now. Constantly pushing, driving. There's hope. I'm using that as a tool. But I'm doing the work. <laughs> I'm being grateful, thankful for the things that I already have and thankful in advance for the things to come. Look at these people. Everybody's in a rush. The man behind me wants to hit the back of my car. Truck on the side of me. Right now I'm on a bridge. Can you see? I'm on a bridge. My hand's shaking. Mm. Huh. So, I've said enough. I'm, I'm I, yeah, I go again. I'm about to say I'm hanging up. But uh, I'm going to end this video right here. And pay attention to this road once again. I wish you could see the view. But it's, it's so fast. But um, keep your head up. If you're going through something. Find something to smile about and be sincere about it. Don't fake it. Find something to laugh. Look, as soon as I get to work, I'm telling you right now, as soon as I get to work, within a half an hour, there's going to be something that I'm going to laugh at. And I'm going to embrace it. Because those are some funny people over there. So I am going to laugh. I'll find something to laugh at immediately. Guaranteed, within 15 to 20 minutes, there's going to be something that's going to be quite humorous there. So I'm looking forward to it. But, you know, I'm just letting you know, you don't have time to feel sorry for yourself. You don't have time to panic. We don't even have time to panic anymore, you know? Nobody has time for a panic attack, you know? Breathing heavy, breathing fast, hyperventilating, heart palpitations. We don't even have time. Look, there's no time for that, you know? I don't even have time to cry. When's the last time you cry? Cry. I remember in my uh, in my twenties and in my thirties, I cried. I, I'm not gonna say I cried a lot. In my thirties, I probably cried more than I did in my twenties. Cause what was I? What was there to cry about in your twenties? But. I mean, I had things to cry about, don't get me wrong. But, in my 30s, I can recall crying. But what happens to you over time is <laughs> you don't even have time for the tears. First of all, I don't want puffy eyes. Mm. You know, the puff under your eyes after you're crying. I don't want all of that. I don't want my eyeliner to smear. This is so superficial. I'm kidding. No, but seriously over time, there's, you don't even have time. I remember sitting there and, 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 and waiting for some tears because of my circumstance and I was just like, you know what? Let me get up. I don't even have time for this. Let me go on and push push forward. You know, That's what strength looks like. It doesn't mean that crying means weakness. Crying serves as a release. It's just that I found that that release doesn't really do much for me anymore because I don't have time for it. I gotta keep pushing on. So here I am, pushing on, driving forever, and um, I'm gonna let you go on that note. So it was so very good talking to all of you, and um, I shall talk to you soon. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button hit the like button too I need somebody to like me today after talking about being likable you like me? if you like me please hit the like button 
<laughs> and hit the notification bell. Okay. And I will talk to you very soon. All right. Thank you for taking a ride with me. I'll talk to you. Peace.